Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. As we can see, my lovely messy bench, which no matter how many times I tidy a day, always gets messy. Anyway, what we're going to look at today is an oil pump. Now, essentially, all oil pumps are more or less the same thing. Unless you have a dry sump system and then the oil pump tends to be on the outside of the engine and it's a hell of a lot bigger. But we're just talking about kind of ordinary oil pumps that are inside your sump for most cars. Depending on what car you have, they'll obviously look different. Might be bigger, might be smaller. You know, you can get aftermarket ones and all sorts, high flow ones and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're just going to stick. This is a two wheel drive Cosworth one, which all Cosworth ones are high flow oil pumps, which is good. This one has three bolts on. The 4x4, which you can just see just here, where are we looking? As you can see, is bigger and has more bolts, but that's by the by. We're going to concentrate on the two wheel drive one. Now, what you are looking for to make sure your oil pump is good, there's a few things we need to check. The first one, we need to check the conditions of the rotors and everything to make sure it's not scorned, to make sure everything is fine. So you take the bolts off, we take the, the cap off. Now as we can see straight away, now I don't know if the camera's showing this up, there's a lot of scratches on that plate. Now again on the top, there's a hell of a lot of deep scores, which is that this is not looking good. Deep scratches and scores means either the oil wasn't changed regularly or maybe a bearings collapsed in the engine all the crud and crap is all gone through the pump which basically scores it because all that fine metal will go through this pump and it will it will scratch it once it's scratched you'll lose oil pressure and it'll be no good now it doesn't it doesn't need to be that badly scratched for you to lose oil pressure or even actually warm so what i'm going to do is we're just going to take the whole thing out to take the rotors out so I've just got a magnet and I'm just pulling it out now what we're looking for is um, if it's rusty bad obviously or if it's scorn scratch or anything like that and as we can see again hopefully the camera's picking this up you can see all these kind of pit marks it looks like um, all little dimples almost which again is not a good sign something hard has gone through this and what I mean by that is a collapsed bearing or something kind of along them lines then we come to look at this and again this is very very heavily scorned as you can see just absolutely destroyed um, so there's just no point going any further with this pump also inside here I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but inside there is very bad also what we need to look for is the actual main body of the pump so we look in here too and as we can see I mean it just feels really really rough and it is just well it's gone it's completely and utterly gone so unfortunately this pump has had its day you can't really do anything with it um, you can't really recondition it because you're gonna have to grind stuff out and it's just not gonna be worth it now the way to check a pump so let's just imagine that this is all good um, it's perfect and it's all good there's no score on it we want to see if the tolerances are still in tolerance so basically we want to see if it's worn away now if your pump is ever, if your pump is all good and fine sorry I'll do it again so if your pump is all good and fine but we want to see if it's actually worn so you know it, it could have just been a heavily um, mild engine so there could be a lot of miles on the engine pump might still be working but it's just you know it's worn so it's maybe not as good as it should be and there's a few measurements there's three measurements really and again this all depends on your car each car kind of has its own tolerances um, I normally keep to one tolerance I can't remember the exact tolerance of this um, but what I like to do is if it's more than six thou I, I throw them away and what I mean by that is you need to get a feeler gauge and as you can see on your feeler gauge you have measurements millimeters and thou or you might have a millimeters or thou just kind of depends on which feeler gauge you get but what we're looking for is 0, 0, 0.006 now that's what I do not like to go past now I can continue so what I personally like doing 
is especially now again it all depends on your engine if it's a really high performance engine if it's pumping out a lot of horsepower your tolerance needs to be a lot better if it's just kind of an, a, an ordinary kind of modern engine you know just a one litre nothing special then you can maybe play around with your tolerances but I would suggest for you to get your tolerances what I like to do with these is really go above um, 0, 0 0.006 maybe 0 0.007 depend on the pump I personally don't like going any more than that so the first measurement is what we need to do is we need to get the actual turn the pump so one of the actual um, wings is inside as you can see and then what we need to do is we need to measure here now that's 0.3 now that's a bit loose I think from the top of my head can't remember I think it's from uh, zero, zero, uh, 0 0.002 to 0 0.008 that's the tolerances that Ford allow I personally don't like going that high if it's any more than um, 0 0.006 for me anyway I think that's too much and as you can see I can't get this in so let's see what I can get in so if I went to where are we looking now We've got 0.4 here, so let's see if 0.4 fits. 0.4 does fit. Um, point 0.5. Point 0.5 now is, is basically where it is at. Now that, like I said, I put, well, 0.5 I wouldn't so much mind, but it's fairly well warm. The next measurement is between the actual body here so um, what I might do is just turn this up so you can see a bit better is between the main body of the actual pump and the actual rotor here now again I like to stick to the same measurements but again you need to make sure on your car or whatever you happen to be doing on this is 0 0.4 0 0.4 is going in 0 0.5 0 0.5 is going in too so we'll try 0 0.6 now this all did, does depend on what oil you use as well so you know the more modern engine the more modern oils the tolerances are, are less so you really do need to find out what it is on your pump 0 0.6 0 0.6 that's basically where that is 0 0.6 that is hard to get in but it will go in but it's kind of hard so 0.6 is where that is the last measurement you want to do is right across it so you need something nice flat preferably metal because it's it's a lot smoother edge and again you're testing the tolerance in between here so we'll go for 0 0.6 i don't know if that camera's going to show i go down that doesn't fit through so that's a good sign so i go for 0.4 see just point 0.4 slide down point 0.4 doesn't slide down go to point 0.3 next point 0.3 which is here point 0.3 doesn't go down which again is well point 0.3 to be fair now yeah point 0.3 does I don't know if you can see that but again that would be that would be completely acceptable um, so basically on this pump this pump hasn't failed and I'd say the pump is still working but the oil pressure would be low on the pump it wouldn't be optimal it's within tolerance but barely on some measurements personally if this was my pump and we had no scoring I wouldn't be putting it back in um, I would prefer the tolerances just to be a bit tighter but that's just me especially on you know this is a turbo engine um, so especially when you want like you know big horsepower but you need to look at your tolerances on your car to really get kind of the full picture on yours but regardless of that as you can see the um, the scoring on this is just too bad so I'd say what's happened with this pump either the car hasn't had its oil change regularly and it could have maybe ran low on oil or something 
in this lifetime's engine has failed. So a bearing, a bottom end bearing, a main bearing, you know, it could just be 101 things. They could have used crappy, shitty oil. You just don't know. So that's essentially a pump. Like I said, most cars are more or less the same. Um, just different shapes and stuff. If you was, if, if you checked everything, everything was in tolerance, everything was fine, uh, don't put it together dry. Basically take each part out, put oil all over it, all inside, oil between, so even between here, just oil absolutely everything up, um, just to give that pump that extra bit of help as it's starting up for the first time. So, you know, oil everything, put it back together, as long as your tolerances are fine, you will be sorted. But unfortunately, this pump isn't um, going to be okay for anything, unfortunately. Um, it's still going to work, but I'd say the oil pressure, well, the oil pressure will be too low. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this pump is baggage. But, so look, that's it. Hope it helps. Thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.